Right, I'm going to do a quick walkthrough demo of installing and setting up this shortcut example action that can call a shortcut and take text from drafts, manipulate it in shortcuts, and return it to drafts. Um, so I'm going to install this shortcut to start. Call it as a new action in my demo group. Now this action is set up to be configured. So the first time I run this, leave that. It's going to ask for the name of a shortcut. In this case, in the shortcuts app here, I have a demo one that uppercase is the text it receives from input. Pretty basic stuff. This could do anything, pull stuff from other apps, whatever. But as long as it takes text as an input and returns text as an output when it's done, it'll work with this action. So that's called uppercase. So I'm going to come in here and type the name of my action there. And that's going to be saved for future runs. So now that I've saved that, I can select text in the editor. That's going to get passed to the shortcut, run it, and you see the output from the shortcut uppercase that text. So not that useful an example, but uh, you get the idea. If you wanted to reconfigure that, you could right click on it. Same thing on iOS, you would long press on the action, configure, and you could change the name of the shortcut you're calling. Similarly, if you have multiple shortcuts, you could just duplicate this, and each of those will have their own configuration, so it'll ask for the name of a different shortcut. And that's the basics. This action itself on Mac runs the shortcut in the background using AppleScript. If you want to get into the details, they're all in there, um, but that'll get you started.